Have you ever seen a car perform a full 360 degree spin without moving forward or backward? You might have thought it's some kind of magic or a fancy trick, but it's actually made possible by modern car technology. Today, we're going to explain how this works step by step so you can understand the engineering behind the 360 degree rotation you see in some advanced vehicle. Torque vectoring is a technology that controls how power is distributed to each wheel. In cars with 360 degree rotation, each wheel can spin at different speeds independently, allowing the car to rotate in place without turning the steering wheel. Now, how does this lead to a 360 degree spin? The key is that the wheels don't need to turn at all. Instead, the vehicle controls how fast each wheel spins. Here's what happens. For a car to rotate in place, the system sends power to the wheels in opposite directions. For example, the front left wheel might spin forward, while the rear right wheel spins in the opposite direction backward. Meanwhile, the front right wheel spins backward and the rear left wheel spins forward. This combination of opposite rotations creates a situation where the car turns around its center. No steering is needed and no movement occurs forward or backward. The car simply rotates in place because of how the wheels are spinning at different speeds and in opposite directions. To make all this possible, the car uses an advanced power distribution system. Unlike traditional vehicles where the power is shared evenly through the differential, this system allows the car's onboard computer to adjust the torque sent to each wheel. The wheels on opposite sides of the car spin at different speeds, which causes the rotation. The system makes real-time adjustments, sending more torque to the wheels that need it to create that rotational force. By controlling the wheel's speed individually, the car can rotate precisely with no need for conventional steering. A great example of this technology in action is the Mercedes G-Class. This 360D rotation feature comes in handy, especially in tight off-road situations. The vehicle doesn't need to move forward or backward to turn around. It can rotate in place, making it easier to maneuver in narrow spaces or tricky terrain. To sum it up, the 360 degree spin you see in some cars is possible because of torque vectoring and independent wheel control. Instead of turning the wheels like a traditional steering system, the car adjusts how each wheel spins, sending torque in opposite directions. This allows the car to rotate on its own axis without needing to move forward or backward. Thanks for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth car tech videos. Let us know in the comments if you've ever seen a car perform a 360 degree spin or if you want us to dive into other car technologies.